Hey, it's Clyde Sheridan. This will be a video chart on ticker symbol FNMA. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I've been doing this analysis on a very routine basis. Uh, so that's where these red and green line annotations are coming from. And it was not planning on doing it today, uh, but um, given the first 30 minutes and kind of just how crazy it made the chart appear, um, figured it was worth at least touching base. What do I mean by that? Well, again, each one of these represents 30 minutes. And that first 30 minutes, you can see by this big green bar right there, otherwise known as a candlestick. But you know, the, the day started off, and I guess the week started off very nicely as Volume came in and you know the price reacted very nicely with it. However, from there it was kind of a buzzkill as the price just kind of slowly drifted back down or tear a little bit. But when I say buzzkill, I don't mean that in a, a bad sense at all. I mean, I suppose depending on your perspective, if you're a day trader and you bought right there and you wanted to sell within, you know, five seconds, then yeah, for you maybe the chart's looking kind of frustrating. Um, so buzzkill just in the sense of, you know, it'll, I'm, I'm sure I can speak for people. It would have been a little bit better if, you know, the price has got a little bit more continuation out of that. So yeah, the price pulled back, but when you take a step back and look at where the lows have been and you just uh, kind of picture, well, heck, let's just think of if the price can hold above there. And then you look at where these other lows have been, including this green line here, and then, you know, so on and so forth. The price is still putting in those higher lows and that's what you want to see. And, you know, that's kind of where it goes back to buzzkill being boring. I fully realize and understand that the exciting stuff is talking about breaking new highs, big volume, big, you know, candlesticks that are formed. Not, well, yeah, the price is putting in higher lows. I realize not the most exciting, but it is healthy and it is what you want to see from the grand scheme of things. And, you know, it for a while, that purple line, the 50 period cent moving average was literally sloping downwards. And then it took a while for it to level back out. But now after the past couple of days, you can see that it's, you know, full blown starting to increase back again. And that's what you want to see. So sure, kind of a buzzkill after the way the day started, but taking a step back, looking at multiple days, you know, the bulls are still in full control. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.